Model News, November the 4th, 1937. The Russian Creek Home Demonstration Club met Thursday, October the 28th, in the home of Mrs. Noble Knight. All members were present but one, Mrs. Will R. Allen, Mrs. Fracy Downs, and Mrs. Will Scott were the most welcome visitors. The meeting was called to order by the president, Mrs. Eupel Vinson. Mrs. Noble Knight, mentioned in the article, was born Murray Barrow. <clears throat> but she was born in 1900. Her uh, parents were James William Barrow and Mitty Jane Futrell. She married Noble Du Bois Knight. Murdy's father was James William Barrow. He was born September the 7th, 1873 in Stewart County, Tennessee. His father James was 42 and his mother Mary was 40. He married Mitty Jane Futrell on April the 7th, 1892 in his hometown they had nine children in 18 years, and he died on February the 21st, 1949, in Callaway County, Kentucky. Murdy's mother was Mitty Jane Futrell. When Mitty Jane Futrell was born February the 13th, 1873, in Stewart, Tennessee, her father John was 37, and her mother Alpha was 32. She married James William Barra on April the 7th, 1892, in her hometown. They had nine children in 18 years. She died on June the 29th, 1950, in Callaway County, Kentucky, at the age of 77, and was buried there. Murdy Barrow was married to Noble Knight on the 21st day of December, 1917, in Stewart County, state of Tennessee. Noble Du Bois Knight was born October the 30th, 1899, in Model, Stewart County, Tennessee. His father's full name was Monterey Knight, he was also born in Model, Tennessee, and his mother's maiden name was Niece Hicks, and she was also born in Model, Tennessee. This is Noble's World War I draft registration card, 1917 to 1918. Noble Du Bois Knight, permanent address is Route 1, Model, Stewart County, Tennessee. He was 18 years of age. On October the, th he was born October the 30th, 1899. His occupation was farming. His next uh, nearest relative was his wife, Murdy Knight. His height was tall, his build was slender, color of eyes blue, color of hair light. 1920 Census for Noble and Murdy Knight. Name, head of household, Noble Knight, age 22, birthplace Tennessee, home in 1920 is District 8, Stewart County, Tennessee. Street is Rushing's Creek Road. House number is Farm. Head of the household. He's married. Spouse's name is Murdy Knight. Father's birthplace, Tennessee. Mother's birthplace, Tennessee. Able to speak English, yes. Uh, occupation, farmer. Industry, general farm. Uh, employment field is on account and his home is rented. Able to read, yes. Able to write, yes. Household members, Noble Knight, 22, the head, Murdy Knight, 21, wife, 
and Olean Knight, a one year of age daughter. 1930 U.S. Census for Noble Knight. Name Noble Knight, birth year about 1900. Birthplace Tennessee, married. He's the head of the house. Home in 1930 is District 8, Stewart County, Tennessee. Street address is Rushing Creek and Pine Bluff Road, dwelling number 127, family number 138. He owns his own home at this time. Radio set, no. Lives on a farm, yes. Age at first marriage was 18. Attended school, no. Able to read and write, yes. Father's birthplace, Tennessee. Mother's birthplace, Tennessee. Able to speak English, yes. Occupation farming, industry general. He's working on his own account. He is employed. Household members, Noble Knight, 30. Head, Myrtle Knight, his wife, 30. Cynthia Knight, 11, a daughter. And Laura Knight, 8, a daughter. World War II registration card for Noble Du Bois Knight. Name Noble Du Bois Knight. Place of residence is 602 Pine Street, Murray, Callaway County, Kentucky. Mailing address is the same. No telephone. He's 42 years of age. Place of birth is Stewart. Date of birth, October the 30th, 1899, in Tennessee. Name and address of a person who will always know your address. Laverne Wallace of Murray, Kentucky. Employer's name and address. Frank Sharon with the Tennessee Valley Authority. Place of employment on business. Tennessee Valley Authority, Kentucky Dam at Gilbert's Bill Gilbert's, Gilbertsville, Kentucky. Register, registrar's report from World War II draft uh, registration. Race is white. Height is 5 feet 11 inches. Weight is 180. Eyes are blue. Hair is brown. Ruddy complexion. The registrar was Mrs. T.C. Arnett of Murray, Kentucky. Registration date was February the 16th, 1942. Owensboro, Kentucky Messenger and Inquirer, Sunday, June the 12th, 1960. Mrs. Noble Knight, Murray, Kentucky, announces the engagement of her daughter, Donna Fay to Dr. Warren Allen Jacobs, son of Mr. and Mrs. Elliot Jacobs of Cunnington, Louisiana. The wedding will take place June the 22nd in New Orleans. Burns fatal to Murray businessman. Murray, Kentucky, January the 30th, 1953. Noble Knight, 53-year-old Murray service station operator died today of burns suffered last night in an explosion at his place of business. Members of the Murray Fire Department said they were told that Knight was removing grease and oil from the floor of his station with gasoline when the blast occurred. The victim was burned over 90% of his body, according to a physician. Odie Morris, an employee of the station, was burnt slightly. He was in another room. Mr. Knight is survived by his widow, Mrs. Myrtle Knight, two sons, Noble James Knight, in the Army in Korea, and Larry Jean Knight of Murray, three daughters, Mrs. Marvin Allen of Model, Tennessee, Mrs. Buford Barrow of Murray, and Miss Donna Fay Knight of Murray, three sisters, Mrs. H.P. Vinson and Mrs. West Blaine of Model 
and Mrs. Troy Futrell of Detroit, and a brother, Jabe Knight of Murray. This is the death certificate for Noble Du Bois Knight. Place of death was Callaway County, Kentucky. Murray Kentucky the city. Six O two Pine Street. Uh, name of deceased. Noble Du Bois Knight, date of death 130, 1953. He was married, his date of birth 130, 1899, 53 years of age. He was born in Stewart County, Tennessee, father's name Monterey Knight, and his mother's maiden name was Niece Hicks. Informant was his wife, Mrs. Murdy Knight. Medical certificate was third degree burns all over body. Explosion of gasoline while cleaning floor in a gas station. This is the obituary for Murray Knight, Murray, Kentucky. December the 31st, 1991. Murray, Murray Knight, 91 of Murray, died at 4.15 a.m. Monday at the Murray Callaway County Hospital. Surviving are three daughters, Cynthia Allen of Dover, Lydia Barra of Paris, Tennessee, and Donna Jacobs of Miami, Florida. Two sons, Noble Knight of Murray and Larry Knight of Mayfield. Three sisters, Mary Jane McDougall, Cordy Murphy, and Edna Compton, all of Murray. Two brothers, Tillman Barrow and Johnny Barrow, both of Murray. Fourteen grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. Mrs. Knight was preceded in death by her husband, Noble, uh, Noble D. Knight, two sisters and one brother. Her parents were J.W. Barrow and Mitty Jane Futrell Barrow. She was a member of Scotts Grove Baptist Church. Services will be at 11 a.m. Wednesday at Miller Funeral Home in Murray. The Reverend Hayward Roberts will officiate and burial will be in Elm Grove Cemetery. Donna Knight Jacobs, daughter of Murdy, passes away September the 5th, 1998. Graveside services for Donna K for Donna Knight Jacobs of Miami Beach, Florida, formerly of Murray, will be at 2 p.m. Sunday at the Elm Grove Cemetery in Callaway County. The Reverend Hayward Roberts will officiate. Mrs. Jacobs, a native of Stewart County, Tennessee, died at 7:15 a.m. Tuesday at a hospital in Miami Beach. She is survived by two daughters, Cindy Jacobs of Miami Beach and Pam Southwell of Richmond, Virginia. One son, David Jacobs of Miami Beach. Two sisters, Cynthia Allen of Stewart County, Tennessee and Lydia Barra of Paris, Tennessee. Two brothers, Noble Knight of Murray, Kentucky and Larry Knight of Mayfield and five grandchildren. Mrs. Jacobs was preceded in death by her mother, Murdy Barra and her father, Noble Knight. Mrs. Eupel Vinson, mentioned in an article, was born Mary Eupel Dilday. When Mary Eupel Dilday was born January the 22nd, 1907 in Kentucky, her father, Selden, was 28 and her mother, Amy, was 22. That would be Selden Dilday and Amy Susan Lassiter. She married Tommy Smith Vinson in 1935. She died on June 22, 1997 in Dixon, Tennessee at the age of 90 and was buried in Trenton, Kentucky. This is Tommy Smith Vinson's World War II draft registration card. Tommy Smith Vinson RFD-1, Model, Stewart County, Tennessee, 
telephone nun, 31 years of age. Date of birth was November the 10th, 1908. Place of birth, Stewart, Tennessee. Name of person who will always know your address. Mary's Mary Upel Vinson. The relationship is wife. World War II Registrar's Report. Height was 5 foot 5 inches. Weight 175 pounds. His uh, eyes were hazel. His hair brown. And his, he had a ruddy complexion. The signature of the Registrar is Geneva Spiceland. Model, 8th District, Stewart County, Tennessee. This is a 1940 census for Tommy and Upel. Home in 1940 was Stewart County, Tennessee. Oh, he lived on a farm. Uh, the res uh, residence was modeled Stewart County, Tennessee. That was in 1935. Sheet number, uh, occupation farmer, he owned his own home. Value of home or monthly rental is $3,000. Uh, highest grade completed for Tommy would have been the elementary school, eighth grade. Ours worked week prior to census, 40, and he was working on his own account. Wheat's work in 1939 was 52. He also had income from other sources. Household members, Tommy Vinson, 31, Upal Vinson, 33, and a daughter, Dorothy Vinson, 13. Obituary for Thomas S. Tommy Vinson. Died in Goodlesville, Tennessee, buried in Trenton, Kentucky. Age 80 years, Friday, November the 18th, 1988. Survived by wife, Mrs. Upel Vinson. Children are Max and Dorothy Vinson. Three grandchildren. Remains are at Cole and Garrett Goodlesville, where services will be conducted Sunday afternoon at 1.30 by Dr. Cla Lawrence Burks. Interment and graveside service to be held at Edgewood Cemetery, Trenton, Kentucky. Also, obituary for Upel Vinson. A Upel Vinson, 91, Trenton, Kentucky, a homemaker, died yesterday at home. Cause was not disclosed. Services are 3 p.m. tomorrow, First Baptist Church, Cook Webb Funeral Home in Guthrie, Kentucky, in charge. Survivors are his son, Max Vinson of Nashville, and a stepdaughter, Mary Holt of Ridgetop, two grandchildren and a great-grandchild. I'll continue reading from the Model News, November the 4th, 1937. Roll call was answered by everyone bringing a pattern of some handicraft article. Devotional was conducted by the hostess's daughter reading Psalms 100 and everyone repeating the Lord's Prayer. Miss Clark showed several different types of handiwork. Demonstrations of making button air of woolen thread. Everyone exchanged patterns and had a very nice time. Just as everyone was getting weary of working, Refreshments were served by the hostess's daughters, Cynthia and Lydia. One contest was given, the price going to Miss Clark. The most enjoyable time of the evening was the exchanging of the presents by the Sunshine Sisters. The club adjourned to meet the fourth Thursday in November with Mrs. T.S. Vincent. The Russian Creek 4-H Club held the October meeting at the schoolhouse. All members were present but two. Also, two new members, Miss Clark, distributed money, one at the fair. The Russian Creek 4-H Club of 13 members 
won more ribbons than any other cl club of the county. Miss Clark gave $5 out in prizes. The club is really proud of its showing and expect to do even better next time. Miss Clark made a check up on each member's work and record record books. She also showed some handicraft articles and gave instructions as how to make them. Miss Ruby Dilday was elected leader and the secretary, Cynthia Knight, was elected assistant leader. The meeting adjourned to meet the fourth Thursday in November. John L. Hicks, who has worked in Detroit, is now home visiting his father, the Reverend T.T. T. Hicks, and other relatives. Mr. and Mrs. Johnny Barrow, who have been visiting relatives at Murray, returned Sunday. Miss Laura Barrow, who has been visiting her parents here, was called back to her work in Murray and returned Tuesday night. Mr. and Mrs. Tillman Barrow of Murray spent Saturday night and Sunday with Mr. and Mrs. J.W. Barrow. Mr. and Mrs. Otho Cook and children Louise Otho Jr. and Mary Lou of Murray visited Mr. and Mrs. J.W. Barrow Sunday. Funeral services were conducted at the Hendon Cemetery Sunday afternoon for Mrs. John Gordon. Reverend T.T. T. Hicks of Russian Creek conducted service at the Russian Creek. Choir did the singing. Mrs. Noble Knight and two children, Noble James and Donna Fay, are visiting relatives at Murray. This concludes the reading of the Model News. November the 4th, 1937. I appreciate comments and likes. Uh, just let me know that you're still listening to these things. Thank you.